Yes, it's the boot of the car. Intro. Now I've been planning this recap video for some time now and I've actually typed a script which I've never done before. Sean Tucker does all the time and it does work to get what you're looking to say visually down on paper or my iPad so you know what you're going to say. I've got all my waterproof gear, I've got my hat, my gloves on this cold and dank and quite frankly bloody awful day weather wise so let's see how it goes it looks grim it looks bleak but who cares see you soon guys oh. I so wanted today's weather to be glorious warm sun beating down on my face with some lovely warm light to end the year on but as you can see it's cold it's wet it's flat and it's bloody miserable but don't for one minute think that that's what my mood is like and what this year has been stop moving it's been an absolutely fantastic year I was going to reduce the number of visits I did in 2008 from 2007 and 6 and 5 but they are just increasing so again no glorious sun but I'm trying not to let it affect my mood I would have loved to finish on a lovely coastal sunset but it wasn't going to happen so Join me for the next 10 minutes as I celebrate the year I've had, people I've met, the places I've been, the mistakes I've made. Rubbish. I bloody hate rubbish. Bag, let me bag. <sighs> well, it's getting wetter and wetter. <laughs> Excellent. As I did say, I had made notes, so it was been a great year. I've been scripting this vlog, as I said, for quite a while. It's not something I usually do, but I just felt the need to do it, uh, just to get things on paper so I can tweak it. You may be sat there thinking, you've tweaked it, but I have. I've been to lots of places this year, met some wonderful people, new, and those I've known for a while. Highlights of the year, well, I've got five of them. So please indulge me, Dorset. Five days in Dorset. And the highlight of that trip was a, a visit to Durdledor. Now I stood in a place and I took a photograph that's been taken thousands and thousands of times before. But I think I managed to get something a little different, as, as you can see on the screen at the end of this little segment. I managed to get some wonderful side light in the right hand side of the arch and the inner left hand side of the arch. Long exposure, some lovely colours, not a lot of cloud moment, but one of my picks of the year. We also got my lone tree, my lone tree near Doncaster been there eight times this year um, from three o'clock in the morning arrive, well, arriving at half past three to uh, quite late at night to after work to before work the best one was when I arrived uh, around half past three and I managed to capture having planned it Perseids the Perseids meteor shower and while I was lying there on my back looking up at all these meteors flying overhead it was absolutely awe-inspiring it was poetic it really really was again this is one of the photographs i got when it's past recently a rather messed up overnight car camp 
which I've mentioned, but standing there over Winnets Pass with the cloud inversion that lasted for hours and hours. Glorious thing to behold. If you haven't seen one, I hope you capture one. And as I drove from the valley, it was misty, but not too misty. And it came to a point where I left and it was blanket mist. Then it was just gone. It was like somebody turned off the mist light. The years do seem to be getting better. He says, weather-wise, fantastic. Not a lot's gone wrong this year. Anyway, getting to know your camera is easy. You read the manual. You press your button a few times, you know how to use it. Experiment, make mistakes, rinse and repeat. So I can produce a very well exposed cliche. That's not a bad thing. But with most cameras these days, bang it in auto, Bob's your uncle, Beryl's your aunt, whichever way you want to look at it. This is all you need. This is all you need. Vloggers who I've been following this year know I would recommend in no particular order, and I apologise if I've missed you, uh, but I can't name 100. I can't name all 125 who I follow. Alan Wallace, astrophotographer. Amazing places he goes to. Some great advice, uh, and the pictures he's taken are absolutely wonderful. Darren Knight, I've watched him for quite a while now. He's quite a new vlogger, very personable chap, good sense of humour. Want to watch in 2019, Craig from E6 Vlogs. He produced, in my opinion, one of the best vlogs uh, of 2018. Funny ass chuff. I'll bob a link to that below. James Poxy, cracking photographer, daft as a brush, but again, loves his sheep. Sean Tucker, the thinking man's photog photographer. Watch some of his vlogs. The, the thought he puts into them is, uh, is mind blowing. Um, he's a man of few words in a roundabout way, but what he says really resonates and really hits home. Well crafted videos as well. Again, this really is hard. I'll finish off with Lynn. I've got to finish off with the lovely Lynn. Uh, with an infectious laugh and a determinedness. And thanks for all the lifts again. Oh, obviously, James R. Burns. Uh, you might miss him because he's got a very new understated jacket. What does 2019 um, hold? Well, fewer trips, but spending more time in locations. I'm going to get to grips with Planet Pro. Planet! Exclamation mark. Pro for photographers. It's similar to photo pills but I think it's a bit better quite complicated I'm going to talk more about photography in my photography vlogs because they're very much they're very much travel orientated I'm going to talk about more about settings about what I see when I take photographs collaborations I'm going to do, I'm going to do more collaborations this year proper collaborations the ones I've seen no disrespect is folks to turn up they meet each other they talk and then they just bugger off I want to collaborate. What I intend to look at doing, I know I've been mentioning to Lynn to do one for a while, is arrive at a location and collaborate to produce a photograph or one photograph each to work the scene together with both our cameras. Left a bit, right a bit, shallow depth of field, wide depth of field, long exposure, short exposure, to produce a picture together. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who's watched the channel. It's a small channel, but I've always said I'd rather have 200 followers who comment on my vlogs than a thousand that don't. Of course, I'd like 10,000 followers that all commented. I'll finish it off there. So this year's been, it's been challenging, but it's been wonderful. Today's been the hardest day of the whole bloody year. iPad's getting drenched, the phone's getting drenched, everything's getting drenched. But it really has been a cracking year. All the best for 2019. Season's greetings. Happy New Year. And I may see more of you in 2019. So for now, see ya. Bloody hell. What a...
Oh.